Everybody likes to get free stuff, guys. Free gold, free credits, uh, free premium tanks. Why not? And you know, if you are able to get free Clan Wars reward vehicle as well, well, things can't get any better, right? Organde, or how free is it actually to get Carrota Combatimento 45T? from the newly uh, reworked uh, Tour of Duty, uh, what they are testing on the test server right now, which has received quite a lot of backlash already as well, actually. So this is the vehicle we are talking about, and yes, you are actually able to get it for free, but um, you are losing quite a bit of the previous advantages of Tour of Duty, and uh, we are going to talk about this in today's video. Uh, so first of all, yes, as I said, you are able to get it. Uh, this is basically what we can call clan campaign. You know, we have personal campaigns, uh, uh, personal campaigns for Object 260 and Object 279E, and uh, you have to complete those alone or you know, you can be in the platoon, but uh, the missions for you are alone, solo missions. You complete them one after another and you get tank after tank all the way up to those uh, top tier 10s, right? But over here, what you have to do is you have to collect uh, the points of duty and you have to explore region by region by region by region all the way up to level 21 where the reward is Carrota Commentimento 45T with uh, this special camo as well, 3D style as well, right? But um, how easy is it and uh, what exactly are we going to lose because of this? If this change goes through. I am on the update 1.24.1 uh, test server right now. And uh, this is what they are introducing and uh, thinking about releasing. So, yes, rewards are actually quite decent. You know, you because you just have to play the game as you did before. But now, seems like you have to complete some of those missions in a platoon. There is only one mission and this is the first mission uh, under the Tour of Duty. Uh, or under the this this new feature, uh, what can be completed solo right now? In tier six to tier ten vehicles, cause or help to cause at least two thousand two hundred HP of damage in a battle or win a battle in detachment. So fairly easy, right? One battle, it's done. Next mission in tier eight to ten vehicles, cause or help to cause five thousand HP of damage in a battle when playing in the platoon or win a battle in a detachment. So here is the first thing. You need to play in the platoon, and you need to play in the platoon uh, to complete this mission, and also to complete this mission. In uh, tier 8 uh, to 10 vehicles, destroy three enemy vehicles in a battle when playing in the platoon, or win a battle in a detachment. Now, I'm not 100% sure, is this combined, uh, the, is this damage combined between uh, platoon mates, or you have to do it solo while you are in the platoon mate? If you have to do it solo, well, it can take you quite a few tries, but if it is in the platoon, then uh, 5,000 combined between two guys, well, that should be fairly easy, I would say so. And vehicle killing missions are always nice, because kill stealing is popular, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, what you get uh, for completing the missions is the points of duty, and you get those resources, industrial resources. And this is where the community has a big problem with this new system, actually, and very rightfully so, because... Uh, the uh, boosters, clan boosters, guys, if we go under the stronghold over here, those things over here are going to be hit quite hard. Because your clan is going to lose quite a lot of resources, uh, what can be turned into those boosters. And uh, how the current system works, well, let me quickly remind you that by hopping onto the live server. Let me quickly switch it up. Now, this is what we currently have inside the game. I'm on the live server, on EU2 server, for example, and let me show you how the two of duty looks like right now if you haven't seen that or you know if you have seen it you are familiar with this anyway tour of duty finished successfully many days before this is what uh, our clan does uh, usually like many days before everything is filled uh, clan these nuts by the way this is not my clan i'm just a member over here but the name is very similar anyway clicking over here you can see that we have uh, our own personal contribution and then the uh, full clan's progression under the personal contribution you can get some inscriptions 
descriptions and some camos as well. For example, this is camo and the last one was camo as well. But the good stuff is over here, you know, extra stuff like extra uh, reserves, extra resources. The box 1000 over there are the resources, which I'm going to show you, talk about in a second. Uh, more stuff over here. Then we have actually credit boosters. And you can see those are the premium um, uh, personal reserves over here, credit boosters and blueprints. So this actually adds up, you know, if you complete it month after month after month, uh, uh, every time it is live, you know, and you are in the gland, this definitely adds up. And uh, where you're able to use those resources, uh, your clan uh, leaders um, who have the power to... Uh, you know, tune the uh, stronghold over here. Now you're able to, for example, like in the financial unit, you're able to craft uh, reserves like uh, extra credits per battle or extra experience per battle, extra crew XP, extra free XP. You know, you're able to do that over here. And now with that change, it seems like there will be a huge uh, deficit of resources. And uh, many clans are simply going to run out of that. And there is actually a Reddit post made by a shamed major or Ashamed. I don't know how to say your name properly. Anyway, a shout out to you, right? Sorry, English is not my native language. <coughs> so if anyone is interested, I have calculated below what the mathematics uh, regarding the new mechanics of uh, clan missions looks like and uh, how it will affect the collection of bricks uh, by the clan. So basically the bricks are resources, right? Each clan member could earn bricks. Previously, this is what we have. Could earn 27,000 bricks a month by playing randoms. Now, stage 1, you know, different by stages over here. You didn't have to be active every day to get uh, 27,000 bricks. And new missions uh, appeared every two weeks, right? Uh, after the changes, guys, so from 27,000, each clan member will be able to earn up to 15,000 bricks per month by playing randoms. Minus 45% drop over here. And uh, math how uh, he got over there. We get three daily missions that have to be completed one by one. We can complete missions one solo. Mission two and three must be in a platoon with your clan member, by the way. Uh, missions, uh, as far as I know, guys. Uh, missions must be completed every day. If we do not complete the mission, potential bricks are lost. If someone does not play in the platoon, they will only earn uh, 4,500 for the clan, minus 83%. So, additionally... Uh, in new system, we can complete 25 stages, which 18 of them are mandatory and receive cover 45. And if you wonder how long it takes uh, uh, to get all those uh, points of duty together, it takes uh, 74 days uh, of you collecting enough. Or uh, 74 days uh, of game time if you complete all the missions. Or uh, let's say we only count days over here where you complete all the free missions. Uh, to get uh, enough uh, points together. Uh, you know, honestly speaking, I have nothing against the, the length of this. Uh, 74 days is two and a half months, uh, roughly, of game time to get that carro. Well, I can tell you that for sure, that it takes longer time to collect uh, like uh, 40,000 points, what you would need to beat on that tank in the Clan Wars, or, you know, like any other uh, campaign. You know, this should not be... Uh, completed in the first month or in uh, one week or in two weeks. I have nothing against the length of this, uh, in all honesty. It's, it's actually very solid. And when we first looked at it on the stream, many people, actually everybody, said that they have nothing against uh, uh, the uh, length of this. Like up to 90 days, up to like uh, five months, whatever it is, right? You know, you can slowly get there. But this is actually quite a big hit indeed uh, into resources. So basically, yes, uh, you are getting a dank for free, but... Uh, losing all those uh, extra uh, resources which can be turned into a, a clan uh, boosters which uh, makes you more credits, more experience. Now you have all of that less which means less uh, or slower tank grinding and uh, maybe Wargaming's idea is to squeeze more gold out of it. Or what do you think guys? Anyway, thank you for the math. Uh, Major 9559. 
and uh, and all those over here uh, but uh, you know as i said there are some other rewards as well so let's head back into the game and uh, we're over here tour of duty what are the other rewards uh, the rewards are repeating itself uh, like there is the double stage over here you're able to skip uh, or you're able to pick your reward over here do you want to get the crew member with uh, two skills already or you want to get uh, camo every time there is a special camo but uh, those uh, uh, rewards over here are same after every double stage you can see uh, you can get uh, some uh, personal reserves some credits then next up you have the uh, survival improvement suit over here for example let's simply say experimental equipment unit you have some directives which are actually very nice this is i would say if you are a directive user this is straight uh, this means straight out saved bonds for you for example many times i'm using ventilation directive uh, or uh, amorac directive and if i'm out of toes uh, it uh, digs into my uh, bonds uh, savings right but uh, now it's just you know gives straight out bonds right uh, next up you can get some uh, premium days as well and some credit boosters but you can see that this is you know quite uh, this this needs quite a lot because if we go back over here you can see that you can only get 150 uh, points of duty per day if you complete every single mission uh, so for example to complete this stage you need to play for two days and over here uh, to get 350 you need to go uh, play it extra three days and so on so on so on so yes it takes some time but as i said i don't have anything against the time and over here you get more experimental components and also as i said the mission and this will repeat four times so whatever you see over here up to this stage whatever you see over here you can times it by four and uh, you see what you're going to get so basically you can get uh, four times 300 which is 1200 components over here uh, plus um, 12 premium days plus 12 uh, credit boosters if you complete that over a couple months uh, three i would say for more casual players uh, this would definitely take three to four months to fully complete you know to get extra rewards as well and styles those styles are actually kind of nice i would say so you know depends where you are with your account uh, do you need to crew members more or do you do you have enough crew members uh, everywhere you can simply pick the styles and uh, once you are done with that you can see the final stages are taking quite a lot uh, 650 over here and this one is 900 this alone over here as you can see takes 900 which is uh, how much is it six days you know six days of collecting points and uh, then you can jump into Karo. Now we have to keep in mind that this is on the test server. Wargaming is actually looking for our feedback and I can see that they have been active on Reddit. World of Tanks Reddit. Uh, there is Wargaming employee uh, who has answered back and said okay we are taking your feedback into account and here have already been some uh, suggestions uh, for example uh, to make uh, first uh, mission a um, a solo mission then second mission a solo mission and then the third one in a platoon mission but increase the rewards for example just increase this industrial resources uh, for the final mission uh, to get the big chunk of resources you know to get uh, a little bit more back because this is quite a big hit uh, uh, for the clan um, income i would say so but you know if you do not play in a clan if you have never played in a clan uh, then uh, honestly how much do you care about any of this what i'm talking about in this video uh, but i know that uh, clans are getting more and more popular because of those uh, tour of duty things because this is basically a free stuff what you get by playing the game there are so many casual clans uh, which simply played for the resources so many people joined the clans, they have never even platooned, they don't know each other, but they are working together still by playing random battles, by collecting resources and by taking advantage of the clan boosters. And of course all the other things as well you got uh, passively by playing, uh, by completing your personal progression and also the uh, clan's progression. You know, all those things uh, seems like are gone. Well, you get 
a lot of those back plus you get the experimental equipment uh, units but uh, you know as far as i can see this is uh, a one-time thing so uh, you can get carro you can get all the other rewards once and uh, when the campaign is done when the new clan campaign is done what happens after that you know this is where it is a little bit problematic you get the tank but you trade it for less resources if you are in a clan already so yeah guys what is your take on uh, all of this uh, are you part of a clan um, is this going to hit you is this uh, like does this even mean anything to you at all overall let me know in the comment section down below and uh, maybe if you have some suggestions how to do it better uh, then uh, let me know in the comment section. You know, the easiest, the easiest and the most beneficial, guys, suggestion for us is that if they give Tour of Duty exactly the same and they simply, <laughs> they simply add his new campaign. You know, this would make clans very popular, more popular, I would say, so people would like to get in. Because all the extra rewards plus Karo are simply added to the Tour of Duty. Uh, but is Wargaming that generous? Well, Brex, uh, press X to doubt, I would say so. But yeah, I would like to hear what you think and um, constructive feedback, ideas in the comment section so I can share that video's comment section with the Wargaming as well and hopefully uh, we can, uh, you know, find a solution which uh, makes uh, everybody happy. Because, as I said, so far the um, feedback has been they do not want to see this campaign if they are going to remove all the other resources. This is what, this is the type of feedback that we have seen uh, on Reddit and um, just general feedback on the stream, for example, as well. Uh, but yeah, you know, let me know, guys. Anyway, I wish you a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Happy Easter if you are celebrating it. And I will get you next time with something else. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, take care and bye.